Hey, this is Johnny Cox. Thanks so much for checking out my video. Um, this is going to be the first video I'm going to do in a series about playing chords on the bass. So this video we're going to look at playing, playing chords using double stops and playing them over open strings. So double stops is just when you play two notes at the same time. So let's get started. Example 1 is just an A major scale harmonized in intervals of a third using double stops. Check this out. Okay, so that gives us the basis for seven chords. A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D major, E major, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, and A major again. Okay, so example two, I'm going to play that again, but this time I'm going to play an open A string as well with each one. And it's going to sound like this. Okay, so obviously adding this open A string changes things a bit. The first one st is still an A major chord, it's just A major over A. The second one, B minor over A, I think of that as a B minor 7, it's an inverted B minor 7 chord because the A is the minor 7th of the B minor. C sharp minor over A is actually just A major again, because we have A, C sharp and E, which makes a simple A major triad. This next one is D major over A, which is just an inverted D major triad. Then this one, E over A, I think of this as being A major 7, because you've got the uh, the 5th E and, and the 7th G sharp. Um, you don't have a, a C sharp in there, which you'd normally find in an A major 7 chord, but this can still function as an A major 7 chord. Um, F sharp minor over A. Now G sharp minor over A, I think of that as being A major 9. You've got G sharp the 7 here, and then B which is the ninth. Uh, so again, no C sharp, which you'd normally find in this chord, but it can still function as A major 9. So already we have four different ways of playing an A major chord. One, two, three, A major 7, four, A major 9, and then another one if you count the octave of the first one. Okay, so for example four, moving on now, I'm going to play exactly the same thing again, only this time I'm not going to play the open A string, I'm going to play the open E string. It's going to sound like this. Okay, so that gives us a slightly different sound. It's essentially a modal sound, which is what you get when you play a major scale or any scale over a different root note. In this case, it's an A major scale over an E note. Okay, um, and it also gives us a slightly different set of chords to look at. So we start off, we have A over E. It's just an inversion of an A major chord. This one I think of as being E7, because um, it's got the, the fifth and the seventh uh, of the E chord, E7 chord. It doesn't have the third G sharp, but it can still function as an E7. C sharp minor over E. I think of this as E9. It has the dominant 7th D here and the 9th F sharp. This is E major. This is an inverted F sharp minor 7 chord, F sharp minor 7 over E. Um, this is E major again. E, G sharp and B makes E major. And then we're back to A over E again. So once you start to feel like you're getting to grips with these double stops, then I'd recommend changing them up a bit, maybe changing the order of them, changing the technique with your right hand. Just have fun with them and try and come up with something musical. Okay, so for these next examples, I'm gonna do something slightly different. I'm gonna go back to playing my open A string 
but I'm going to harmonize different major scales in double stops over that open A string. So this first example is a G major scale played over an open A string. Now for example 5, I'm going to harmonize the notes from an F major scale over an open A string. So you see, it doesn't really sound like a major scale anymore, but that's pretty much the point. It is a major scale, it's just an F major scale played over an A. And this next one, example 6, is an E major scale played over an A. And example 7 is a C major scale played over an A. Okay, so you see some of the different sounds that you can get from harmonizing different major scales over an open string. Now there's so many different possibilities with this idea, I couldn't possibly go through them all in one video. So I'm going to leave this one with you, and you can take it away and experiment with it, get to know these double stops and have fun with it, try and find something musical. Um, but before I leave you, I'm going to just give you one more idea, one more different sound. So far I've just been harmonizing major scales and playing them over open strings. But in this last example, I'm going to harmonize an A melodic minor scale. The same way I'm harmonizing it in thirds using double stops, and I'm going to play it over an A open string. It gives us another diff slightly different sound to work with. Have a listen to this. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed this and found it interesting. Please stay tuned to my blog because there will be a lot more videos coming up soon.